Hey, I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides. Welcome to the National Hotel on Miami Beach. We just got off the Norwegian Escape today, a six day cruise, and it was really great. It was my mom's first cruise, and now we are staying at uh, the National Hotel for the next four days to sort of let the cruise atmosphere slowly dissipate and to come back to the real world before we fly home uh, in four days. Like I said, this is going to be the fourth, I think the fourth Miami hotel that I review. So if you're planning a trip to Miami, then search through my, um, my playlists and go ahead and subscribe to my channel here and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Let's take a look around this room. This is a cabana. So not in the tower, it's in the poolside four-story building. This is what it looks like. We literally just arrived like five minutes ago, so I'm going to explore this room just like you. I mean, I've been inside it yet, but I haven't really looked around. It is. The first impression is very nice. These are, I believe it's marble floors, at least it's stone. It's a great big bed. The headboard, floor to ceiling headboard, matching little, uh, what do we call that, settee here at the foot of the bed. We had things like this when I was a kid and you could lift up the lid and we kept like our Legos and stuff in there. <laughs> These don't open. That's the first thing I did when we came in here is I wanted to see what was inside there, or if I could put something in there. This bed looks fantastic. I mean, very romantic. Hashtag honeymoon, hashtag romantic getaway. And no, it is not our honeymoon or a romantic getaway. So here are these lights on the side of the bed. I like that. There is kind of old school um, clock radio here with the old kind of docking um, thing. Most people don't have those phones anymore. There is an outlet here next to the bed, which is good. I've been, that's my new sort of, uh, new sort of thing I look for is if there's an outlet or USB next to the bed to charge your device. And there's one on this side as well. So that's nice. Here is this view. This desk is quite massive. I mean, I don't mean huge, but it's like a big chunky desk. So if you are gonna do some work here, this is not a bad size desk. Here's the light, another telephone over here. Quite a fancy coffee machine from Lavazza. Decaf and normal coffee here. Included in the price are two bottles of water. And there they are. There's also a snack menu here, but I don't know. Oh, it's a mini bar order list, so we can order things from the mini bar. And I have to say, these are, as far as mini bar prices go, kind of reasonable. You know, like beer is $2.50, a Corona is $2.70. So water, Fanta, 120, that's not bad at all. That's really not bad at all. Some more artwork here. This is a closet, I believe. Yes, I oh. know. With robes, we had robes on in our mini suite on the Escape as well, and we didn't put them on once. I feel kind of bad. And how nice is that? An ironing board, extra blankets, slippers, safe big enough for a computer which is always nice and let's look at the bathroom yes morgan approved bathroom with a door that closes and nice wow very nice all right not a lot of counter space although there is these little the wings next to the sink here is the national hotel green fig face and body bar. What's in here? Hmm. Looks like a sewing kit. I don't feel like taking it out right now with one hand. Oh, look at this stuff here. It's all packaged. A dental kit. Restoring and refining vanity kit. A shaving kit. 
and a shower cap. And look at some coconut lip balm. Wow, I don't think I have ever stayed in a hotel or on a ship where I've gotten lip balm. Look at this shower. Well, first of all, here, there's the crapper. There's some shelves over here. The lighting is kind of odd in here. And this is like, this tile looks like alligator skin. There's the shower, oh, two shower heads. There's one here, one here. I'll walk in there with my shoes. And here are the amenities. Oh, it already smells good in here. This is gonna be a nice four days. I'm looking forward to staying here, but there is one more thing to show you, and that is our balcony. So. If you've ever been to Miami and stayed on Miami Beach, you will know that not a lot of the Miami Beach hotels have balconies, and usually the ones that do are quite expensive. But if you look for the deals, and if you watch my videos, I can help you find the good ones. And I haven't been out here yet, so let's go look. Marcus is out there. Of course, the National is famous for its iconic super long pool which is right down here, and it goes all the way from there, down there, and look at the view. Yes, I can definitely deal with this for the next four days, or longer. It's a nice long pool. There's another pool up there, and then there's the beach bar and restaurant. Here are the cabanas if you want to spend some more money and book a cabana. And this is our balcony area. There's another chair here where Marcus is sitting, but I'm trying not to show him. There he is! I don't know if there would be a possibility to make these like adjoining balconies if you're staying with friends, but back in the room, there is a door here to make it adjoining rooms, and that could be a really good time. This is nice. The National Hotel is one of the older properties here on the beach. It was built in 1939, and it has a really sort of historical feel to it, which is something that I really appreciate. A lot of the hotels around here, when they've been updated and renovated, they've lost that like old school Miami Beach charm, and they've become very chic and modern, and it reminds me a lot of like properties like the Aria and the Cosmopolitan in Vegas, like that's kind of what they're going for. And what I like about the National, after being here for like an hour <laughs> waiting for the room and checking in now is it seems like there's something about it that seems very old school Miami Beach and I just kind of like that I mean I like modern and chic as well you know that I do like that but uh, so so far I could say I would recommend this Um, it's not one of the cheaper resorts here in Miami. I can tell you that. You can find a good place to stay for less than this. If you're planning a trip to Miami and you want some advice, then just write me. Write something down in the comments. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, like I said. And uh, I'm going to put the camera away and go out on the balcony with Marcus and just start relaxing. So thanks for watching. Thank you all to all the VIPs over here at patreon.com slash very unofficial. You guys are going to be here with me too here and give everybody a secret word and the secret word is diet coke have fun with that one <laughs>